All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, and glory be unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakodash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles at GMS Great Millstone that rule well. And peace, love, and salutations to the elect that are pushing this truth and truth, sincerity, and charity, and faith. This is Romans 6 and 21. It says, What fruit had ye in those things whereof ye are now ashamed? So, what it's speaking on is this is this old man that we cast off, all right? That we destroyed. Coming into this truth, man, you you come into the newness of life, and really, what inspired this uh, this lesson, you know, I've been watching the uh, tuning in on the um, uh, Game of Thrones uh, TV show every now and then, and uh, you know, the episode I watched, you know, was this girl, and she uh, you know got involved with this. Uh, you know, with this group of people, man, and when she when she got in there, they told her to basically become nobody. And you know, she acted like she was all for it, you know, fronting and everything. And when the uh, one of the main guys came up, you know, she said she was ready, and he and he you know replied to her. Her name was uh, Aya. And he told her, "You say that you're nobody, but you're surrounded by Aya's things. You got Aya's clothes on. You got Aya's sword." So what is nobody doing with all these belongings to someone else? So what she proceeded to do was go to destroy all those things. You know, and she, she set aside something, you know, saved a personal um, item, all right, to remember her past. And, you know, it, when, when, when we do our day-to-day -day things, man, you know, going to work, whatever the case might be, you know, our, our, the truth is always in the forefront of our head. You know, so it really just made me think about, you know, casting off that old man. You know, when you come into this truth, man, you completely destroy it. All right, you don't you don't save nothing, set nothing aside, because it's a slippery slope, man. You 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 could you could look back and and never never come back, man. It's it's a scary thing, but this is this this is one of my favorite verses within this chapter, man. What fruit had ye in those things wherein ye are now ashamed? We're ashamed of that old man. We cast him off, man. We destroyed it. We stomped it underfoot. It's done. But that main uh, piece of the question, what fruit had ye in those things? What was the fruit that came out of those things? Man, just stop and think for a second. What came out of the things that we were doing in the, when we were in the world, man? And, and, and just, just try to think of anything good, man, anything beneficial that came out. And I'm going to continue. It says, for the end of those things is death, man. The end of the things... Uh, that 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 we took part in that we destroyed is death so it's a scary slope man you you want to you want to put off completely that old thing man all right got your old uh friends still blowing you up man you know I, I i personally i have i have people that still call me that you know i used to kick it with in the world and you know i never i never really talked to them or nothing man and sometimes you know i'll be like oh well you know what maybe Maybe I should give them a call and see how they're doing. You know, I haven't, I haven't talked to them in a long time. Why? What's the point, man? I'm I'm not I'm not the same person, man. Why am I gonna Why am I gonna get along? Uh, uh, you know, go along with you people, man. Nothing good came out of it. I'm not the same person no more, man. Satan. The scripture tells you that Satan walks to and fro like a ravenous lion, seeing who he might devour. So you got to picture this lion. Broken arrows in it, man, slobbering from the mouth, scars all up on it, 10 feet fucking tall, man, seeing who it's going to, it's going to swallow up. That one night you decided to go out, that might be your last, man. That might be your last night, because Satan got your ass, man. We, we really need to uh, be careful, man. Dot your I's and, and slash your T's, so to speak. Stay in the spirit, man. Pray for a double portion of the spirit. Stay on fire. Continue pushing. Keep doing the videos. All right, but with that, I'm gonna I'm gonna scroll up. Um, actually, you know what? I'm gonna jump into uh, before I I go further on that, I wanna go to uh. Let the book of Galatians. Try to make this quick because I got. I'm not going to get into work. Um, get back in there to work in a second. This is uh, Galatians 2. And uh, I think verse 18 is what I'm getting. Kind of, it says, 
For if I build again the things which I destroyed, I make myself a transgressor. That's right, man. We, we completely destroyed those things. We cast them off. Like on that show, you know, she, she hid the one, uh, the one piece of her identity. You know, and I'm sure she's going to go back and recover it at some point, man. But you, you, we put that away, man. We, we trashed that thing. We destroyed it, man. So we can't build it back up. It's, it's done. Uh, now let, let's go ahead and jump into the book of uh, John. 3 and 1, it says, There was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. The same came to Yahweh Shai by night and said unto him, Rabbi, meaning master, we know that thou art a teacher come from the heavenly father, for no man can do these miracles that thou doest except the heavenly father be with him. Yahweh Shai answered and said unto him, Truly, truly, so that's what verily means, I say unto thee, except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of the heavenly father. That's right. So except a man be born again, you cast off that old man. Man, we were brought up in all sorts of different ways of wickedness. All right, because you, you get put on this earth and, and those who are around you, rather it be your, your parents, rather it be just a mother, rather it be just a father, rather it be, you know, your aunt, whatever the case might be, your, 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 your cousins. All right, we were raised by those around us. All right, so odds are, man, we were brought up in wickedness, man. We were brought up in the flesh. We were brought up in the world. But when there, there hits a point in, in, in the uh, uh, lives of the elect that they make the decision, man, and ultimately it's all, it's, it, it, it's all the Most High's will that they, would, that they would get to this point anyway, but where they end up casting off that old man and being reborn again, taking on a new father, taking on new, uh, new, new guides, man, all right? following the uh, elders and the apostles, man, through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Because they got the watch over your soul, man. That's why, you know, they do, the, they do these videos, you know, cutting somebody up or, or, or you know, getting hot and heavy, man. These, these are the things, the moments for us to look in the mirror and reflect on ourselves. All right, when, when they're putting out those videos, man, they're talking to all of us. It might be, you know, one brother got, got uh, cut off. Take heed, man, because that might be you. All right. It says, um, and, and, and Salaki, and I want to talk on that. He cannot see the kingdom of God, man. Cause that's what we're trying to see, man. We're all trying to striving for the crown to be, be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven. When you go into first uh, Corinthians, the 15th chapter, it tells you, man, about the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven. All right. Th those elect men that are, that are, that are during this time of grace, they will receive mercy and they will be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven. And they will not see death on this side. All right. And that's what we want to be, man. We want to be those first fruits, beating our body into subjection that we, uh, that we, we, we cast off that old man and, and, and not, and sin no longer, man. And we understand we're going to have shortcomings. We're going to, you're going to slip up from time to time, man, but we're all hoping for mercy. We're all striving for perfection and hoping for mercy. All right. Now, verse four, it says, Nicodemus saith unto him, how can a man be born when he is old? So, you know, he just, he just didn't get it. Can he enter into the same, uh, in, Salakia, can he enter the second time into his mother's womb and be born? Yahweh Shai said unto him, Truly, truly, I say unto thee, except a man be born of water and of the Spirit. All right, because there was indeed uh, water baptisms in the time of the New Testimony, and the, the water was only, only a, a representation of being washed. All right, anybody could jump into, uh, jump into water, but it, it was symbolic. Of, of, of your past life being washed away, your sins being washed away, and then of the Spirit. So then the Holy Spirit comes upon you, man. So the, the, the water was only, only symbolic of being washed, but the Spirit is, is, the, is the true fruit, man, the true thing that matters. All right, then the Spirit comes upon the men, men of the elect. So they make that decision to be reborn, take on the newness of life, and the Spirit comes upon them. Next thing you know, you, you could sing this song, man. You're growing, you're fighting. And, and you're continuing, man, praying for, for the Spirit to continue supping with you. All right, it says he cannot enter into the kingdom of the Heavenly Father, right? So these are, these are those first fruits, man. Unless they do that, then, then they're going to die here, man, in America. It's just that simple. Verse 6, it says, that which is born in the flesh is flesh, and that which is born in the Spirit is spirit, right? So we were born in the flesh, and we were flesh. But then we took on uh, uh, the being born of the Spirit, and now we're bringing forth the fruits of the Spirit. All right, um, that's good on there. Now let's go ahead, jump, let's jump back to the book of Romans, uh, the sixth chapter. 
It says, What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Yahweh forbid. How shall we how shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Right. We, we, that old man is dead. We destroyed all of his belongings. We destroyed all his things. And, and, and now we're walking in the newness of life, man. So, so you don't, you don't just, just go back into sin. All right. Because, because, Hey, it's a slippery slope, man. Like I said, you might not return. It says, uh, verse three, know ye not that so many of us were baptized into Yahweh Shai HaMashiach were baptized into his death. So when, when we took on that baptism, man, we killed that old man. All right, so you got to be real careful, man, about what you do and how you do it and how you deal with it. Because you could be uprooted completely from this truth, man, and never return. It's a scary thing. It says, uh, verse 4, Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death. Right, the old man is dead, man. He's done. Ain't no coming back. He's done, man. So now we're walking in the newness of life. All right, got that new spirit. And as it goes on, it says, That like as Hamashayak was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in the newness of life. It says, For if we had been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall be also in the likeness of his resurrection. So we were, we were, we, we put our flesh off and, and, and put it to death when, when he, just as he was crucified, man, we crucified that old man. We crucified that flesh that was upon us. So we shall also be in the likeness of his resurrection, man, that spiritual resurrection, man. So we took on that spiritual resurrection when we put off that old man and now we're going we're gonna to see the physical resurrection in which we will see the kingdom of heaven, man. Yahweh Ratazah, we'd be part of that number. Verse 6, knowing this, that our old man is crucified with him. There you go. That the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we should not serve sin. For he that is dead is freed from sin. Right, we, put off, we, we cast off that old man and put him to death, man. Because in, in the old times, the only way to receive salvation was to be perfect in the flesh. And, 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 you know, being, being brought up in, in the world that we were brought in, man, all we knew was sin. We served the world. We served sin. All right. Verse eight, it says, now, if we be dead to Hamashiach, because now we got the Hamashiach, now we got the, the Messiah, man. Now we got faith. It says, we believe that we shall also live with him. That's right, man. We truly believe in that. We truly believe in the words of this scripture, man. We truly believe that we're going to, we're going we're gonna to be crowned by Yahweh Shai. All right. Uh, verse 9, knowing that Hamashayak being raised from the, from the dead dieth no more, death hath no more dominion over him. Right? Death hath no more dominion over him. So you, we, don't, we, don't, we don't worry about the, the things of the flesh, man. All right? It says, uh, verse 10, for in that he died, he died unto sin once, but in that he liveth, he liveth unto the heavenly Father. And so do we, man. So do we. You saw the, the, the tale of Jonah running off, man. No, he, the Most High slapped him up and brought him right back. You ain't got no choice in this, man. <laughs> you're either a vessel of the Most High unto mercy or you're a vessel unto destruction. And if you're a vessel unto destruction, go ahead, play in the world, man, and you're going to be destroyed. You're going to be shattered. Verse 11, it says, Likewise, reckon ye unto yourselves to be dead indeed unto sin. Right, reckon yourselves. Realize, man, you're dead to sin, bud. Cast that old man off. Stop playing in the world. It says, but alive in the heavenly father through Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, our master. Right? But alive in the heavenly father, man. Bringing forth the fruits of the spirit rather than the fruits of the world. It says, let not sin therefore reign over your mortal body that ye should obey it in the lust thereof. Right? Beat your body into subjection, man. Don't go back. It says, neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness to sin. So what's that mean? The word yield means to hold. All right? It says, your members as instruments of unrighteousness to sin. So don't, don't hold the members of your body as instruments of unrighteousness. All right? Because now we're in the newness of life, man. You, you, you hold the, 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 the pieces of the Spirit. And as we go on, it'll break it down. It says, but yield yourselves unto the Heavenly Father, 
as those that are alive from the dead, right? We were once dead, man, but now we've been brought to life. You have 144,000 living ministering spirits and the rest are dead. It says, and your members as the instruments of righteousness unto the heavenly father. Right now we're holding the instruments of righteousness. This is for sin shall not have dominion over you for ye are not under the law, but under grace, right? We've been, we've been brought into a newness of life, man. We, we, we strive to be perfect, but that, but that, the ultimately the, the choosing of being the member of the elect is what saves you, man. The most high saves you. And we have faith in that. So then we have faith, man. That faith is what, 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 what seals you up, man. Um, <clears throat> it says, what then shall we sin? Because we are not under the law, but under grace, Yahweh forbid, right? So then does it make it okay to go, to go around and sin? Just because you've been brought in a newness of life. Are you okay to go do whatever you want? Because, because you're the elect, man, you're forgiven. No, God forbid, because the fruits of the elect are going to be the fruits of the spirit. Are right? you going to be striving in this, in this truth, man? Doing the best to keep your body into, into uh, subjection, man. Of course, you're going to have shortcomings. All right, we're all deserving of death, man, but we're all hoping for mercy. All right, we're all hoping that this grace uh, will cover us, man. All right, this is where you have, uh, you have certain individuals will read this and try, to, oh, you're not under the law no more. So, so you're, you're good to go. You could eat swine. You could chop some dude's wife and be forgiven. But don't say a bad word, though, because that, that's the thing of the flesh. Well, what is sin, man? Going back to uh, 1 John 3 and 4. Sin is the transgression of the law. So you wouldn't know what sin is without the law. You see? So, so you got you to gotta do your best to, be, to, to strive for, for, for perfection. But at the same time, man, the, the, the grace is what, what delivers all the elect. All of Israel is delivered through the grace, man. Verse 16, not by their own works. Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey... His servant, ye are, to whom ye obey, right? So whoever, whoever you're, you're, you, you obey, man, that's whose servant you are. It says whether of sin, so rather you, you're, you're obeying sin unto death, or of obedience unto righteousness. And the elect men are, are obeying the obedience unto righteousness, and that's why we got to strive to be for. Uh, verse seventeen, but I, but Yahweh will be thanked that ye were the servants of sin, but. We at one time were the servants of sin. It says, but ye have obeyed from your heart that from the doctrine which was delivered to you. Right? This doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Verse 18, being then made free from sin, ye became the servants of righteousness. Right? So being made free from our sins, because from our, from our old sins, from our old man. All right? What did it say? That ye, that ye were the servants of sins. We were made free from that. We've been for that's what that's what the whole baptism goes back to. That that water was representative of, of 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 that sin being washed away. Ye became the servants of righteousness, right? So we we cut that off, man. In verse nineteen, I speak un, after the manner of men because of the infirmity of your flesh, right? Where we all have an infirmity of the flesh, man. We're all deserving of death, like I said. So we're all seeking for mercy, all right? It says, for as ye have yielded your members servants to uncleanliness. And to inequity unto inequity, even so now yield your members servants of righteousness and holiness. So just like we had the servants of, of, of wickedness, or just like we were the servants of wickedness, so now we did a completely 180, man. Verse 20, it says, For when ye were the servants of sin, ye were free from righteousness. What fruit had ye in those things whereof ye are now ashamed? Right, the, the verse we started off with. For the end of those things are death. But now being made free from sin and become servants of the heavenly father, you have your fruit unto holiness and the end everlasting life. That's, and that's what we're, we're seeking to receive, man. We took on that spiritual resurrection and we're looking for the physical in which you'll have that everlasting life. Verse 23, for the wages of sin is death, but the gift of the heavenly father is eternal life through Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, our master. Right, so the wages of sin is death. But we, but we truly believe, man, that, that we might receive that eternal life through Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, man, during this period of grace, getting right and striving, man, and, and, and pushing and bringing forth the fruits 
of, of the spirit man, which ultimately will bring forth the fruits of those meet for repentance. All right, the elect will hear, hear these words, and Lord willing, this is edifying. Say, call Allah, Double honors to the elders and the apostles at GMS, Great Millstone, Peace, Love, and Salutations of the elect. Shalom.